You're watching surveillance video of the terrifying moments when an alleged shooter opened fire at a busy nightclub in Broad Ripple. People ducking for cover and running for help. Six people were shot and a longtime employee died. Tonight, that bar is also under investigation and currently cannot serve alcohol. Our Marion County reporter Lauren Costick shares video from the shooting. And as a precaution here, we want you to know that we have edited out some of the video out of respect for the victims and their families. There are several cameras inside Land Sharks capturing what really happened early Saturday morning. And according to that video, it's not what one of the witnesses told police. In the video, you see the alleged shooter and a woman walk in together. The man then appears to grab a gun from inside the woman's shirt and puts it in his pocket. The gun goes off and you see people ducking for cover before running out the front door. The owners of Land Sharks spoke with 13 News off camera. They say the woman who allegedly had the gun in her shirt should also be held accountable. Land Sharks owners say the surveillance video contradicts what she told police. According to court documents, she told detectives the suspect brought the gun into the club in his coat pocket. In total, six people were shot, including 36-year-old Timothy Brown Jr., who died at the hospital. Brown's family tells 13 News he worked at Land Sharks for years, but was better known as a dad. And most of all, he, he was a father to his five-year-old daughter. And this is who our focus is going to be on now. As for how the gun got into the club, the owners of Land Sharks say their security guards wand people and pat them down as they come inside. But in this case, the owners say the gun was in a woman's bra, making it difficult to search. It's not clear if or when the club will reopen. There is still no clear motive in this shooting. According to court documents, the suspect asked for his attorney and refused to speak with detectives. In Broad Ripple, Lauren Costick, 13 News. The 25-year-old suspect is in jail tonight. He is expected to face a judge on Wednesday to hear the charges against him. Of course, 13 News will be at that hearing and we'll bring you updates as soon as they come in on all of our WTHR platforms.